Well, I think you certainly made enough food for breakfast. <laughs> the kids are all going to school. Instead of school bus, I've got a school boat. The farmer just drove all these ducks down to the river. Or the canal. Oh, here come more. Here come the others. Come on. All you hear are birds, frogs, and women beating the clothes against the rocks to clean them. We're stopping here to see a snake boat. Well, that was easy to get off. This is the snake boat? Yeah. Hundred people sitting and canoeing. Mm -hmm. And ten people standing. And five people here, here standing. Length is 130 meters. 105 rowers, five steermen. So one person, they sit on... on two, two, two people here. Single people at the narrow ends, and then two people in the big center end. Yes. Collar Cod St. Mary's Church in Champakalama is Syrian Catholic. It was consecrated, believe, we believe this, 427 A.D. The present church is 300 years old. You can't expect a church to last, right, from 52 A.D. St. Thomas was a disciple of Jesus, and he came to Kerala in A.D. 52 and walked all over preaching Christ and his gospel, and eventually started seven and a half churches in this area. There is a depiction of the Last Supper on the east wall of the main hall over the main arch with Jesus and his 12 disciples. And on the ceiling of the main hall are pictures depicting various events and characters from Old and New Testaments. When parishioners assemble in the church, the men usually remain on the left side and the women on the right side, while chairs and benches are arranged for the old and sick. Others kneel or stand on the mat. Father is on his cell phone. <laughs> Big village. Ganesh. I could shop forever. Spicy, no spicy. But it is Kerala chili. It's very, 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 very spicy. Very spicy. This one, this one, that's spicy. This is all color also. So many color also. This was started by my grandfather in 1921. And the pieces are commissioned by churches all around the world. Along with making new statues, we do restoration as well. And these two statues are for here for restoration. We have already started restoring it. And your grandfather carves the whole thing the himself. The whole thing he carved it. My father was running it after grandfather's time, and he had made it using the same wood teak. Do you have a son? I have two sons. Are they going to follow we in their fathers? Know, we never know what's going to happen in the future. <laughs> ah, I love the boats that travel from little town to little town. There's going to be a wedding. Oh, look at that. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. Party is going to be on, on this boat after the ceremony. About a hundred people or so. Putting on all the food. Oh, <laughs> namaskar! Namaskar! <laughs> I sure as heck did not expect to see emu along the bank. Anthony, what do they do with the emu? For, for food?
coach you said earlier? Yes, I saw them being released this morning. Oh my God. And there they go. Same place? I No, different place. Different. Hi, duckies. I wouldn't mind a little roast duck. Hey, duck, we're coming through. We're coming through, duckies. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, guys. Split. Yeah, and there's the man in charge. Explain to me why two people who have been doing absolutely nothing keep eating like two P.I.G. pigs. Did we walk today 100 feet? Maybe 300 feet. Oh, wow. How that many ducks would you think were in the water? God, does that look good? Hmm. So Take Keith doesn't want us to pass out from doing nothing. He must be passing at the temple because I hear the prayers. <laughs> nonchalantly step into those tiny little canoes and somebody pulls them somewhere. Chicken biryani, raeta, and I got lost on what the third one was. Such beautiful water lilies. The kites, I think he called them Brahmin kites. All the houseboats tuck into their own jetties. Launch motors from houseboat to houseboat picking up the guests, and then we go to the main deck. Pull up next to each one and load the people on. Suitcases, the whole ball of wax.